The Space Shuttle is a reusable winged booster rocket system. It is the first space vehicle that can carry large payloads, including both people and satellites, into orbit. There are three stages of the Space Shuttle's life cycle. Design and Development Flight Operations Retirement The Space Shuttle Life Cycle and Disposal Project is a study of the Space Shuttle program and the disposal of its components. The objective of this project is to examine the process and procedures for the decommissioning, dismantling, and disposal of equipment. Understanding the Steps of a Space Shuttle Launch The Space Shuttle is a type of spacecraft that carries people in payloads into orbit. It was designed to be flown by a crew of up to eight astronauts, but can carry more than 20,000 pounds of cargo. A space shuttle launch is a complex procedure that involves numerous steps in order for the shuttle to successfully make it into orbit. The first step in the launch process is called the countdown. This stage includes everything from the final approval from mission control to putting on the astronaut suit, and it lasts about two hours. After this, there are four minutes left until liftoff, which is called terminal count. The next step is called ignition and lasts for 8 seconds. This stage includes turning on all of the main engines and auxiliary power units as well as opening valves and vents on fuel tanks. There is then a 3-minute period where the main engines are at full thrust while they slowly ramp up the power. This is called the first stage of launch and lasts for 3 minutes. After this, there is a short period where the main engines are at full power while they slowly ramp down their thrust and shut down. This is called the second stage of launch and lasts for one minute. The final step in the launch process is when rockets separate from the spacecraft to carry it into orbit and continue its journey to another planet or moon. There are two ways of doing this, either by using a single large rocket engine or by using many smaller rocket engines called boosters. These boosters are usually ignited in a specific order, with the first being the largest of the bunch and positioned just below the spacecraft. The combined action of separating from one another, burning their engines at full power, and then recombining forms an upward thrust force that carries both spacecraft and rockets into orbit. This is done while still attached to one another by means of clamps and a cable that passes over a pulley in the spacecraft, called the spider. The cable also provides power to spacecraft and rockets.